Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. All right. We have an actual Braille thing to read today. Um, this is from The Torch. Um, which issue was this? The Torch issue 2, 2017. That doesn't sound right. Torch. I don't know. But it's a story in one of the Torch magazines from, from England. And um, I thought this was especially good. And I actually told Siri to remind me um, before I would do the devotions to go get this. So here we go. And let's read this one. It's called Thanksgiving. And I find it interesting because it doesn't mean Thanksgiving, so to speak, as, you know, as we have here. But it's still called Thanksgiving all the same. The other different parts of Africa the other different parts of Africa? We are beautifully diverse because God made us so as for his glory. I hope we will learn to appreciate who we are in Christ and learn to appreciate what God is doing on our continent. Oh, wait a minute. I'm an idiot. The page says, sorry. Okay. The page starts out saying Thanksgiving, but okay, sorry. Here we go. We began this issue with the annual Thanksgiving celebration at Torch House, and we close on the same theme. Michael Stafford, a missionary in Africa, before spending many years serving with Torch Trust, including making many visits to Malawi, encourages us to be thankful following the example of the Apostle Paul. Michael writes, Every year at our... Sticking pages... Ah! Okay. Every year at our Thanksgiving celebration, we remember how the Lord has blessed, guided, and provided for the work we do in seeking to help people with sight loss over the past year. Giving thanks is an essential part of Christian living, and even dying. Recently, I attended a Thanksgiving service for the life of a brother in Christ who had lived an exemplary life, demonstrating the love of Christ in his life and service for the Lord. It has become a custom in the UK to have such Thanksgiving services instead of, or as well as, a traditional funeral service. This emphasizes the fact that the death of a believer is not a mournful and hopeless time, but rather a time of giving thanks, not only for a life lived for God's glory, but also for the eternal life that Christ, with Christ, that he or she is now enjoying. The Apostle Paul frequently wrote of Thanksgiving in his epistles, often thanking God for that believer's for the believers in the churches to which he was writing. This is what he said in Ephesians 5, 19 and 20. Speak to one another with psalms, hymns, and spiritual, thing, spiritual songs. Sing and make music in your hearts to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Then, in 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18, he wrote, Be joyful always. Pray continually, giving thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Giving thanks for everything did in all, circum in all circumstances. Really? Can Paul really have meant that? How can we thank God when things go wrong, when we are disabled, ill, or in financial difficulties, or facing family problems? We can if we remember that God has our greater good always in mind, even when we are suffering, and will give us grace to cope with our circumstances just as Paul did when he suffered what he described as a thorn in the flesh. As Brother Samuel Kabu, K-A-B-U-E, testifies so well earlier in this magazine. God apparently didn't answer Paul's prayer for the, the thorns removal, but instead said, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in the weakness. Anifani is a blind lady in Malawi who struggles not only because of her blindness, but also this year with hunger as the maize crop has again failed. She is a shadow of her former self, yet one thing has not changed. Her thankfulness to God. She is able to smile with a joy and peace which comes not from her circumstances but from God himself. Eckhart 1260-1328 a famous Re Reformation theologian said, if only the prayer you said in your whole life was thank you, that would be enough. We may at times have suffered the hurt of giving a gift to someone who never bothered to thank us for it. How do we think God feels when we fail to thank Him for His many good gifts? Thanksgiving is a vital part of our praise and worship.
George Herbert, the poet, orator, and minister, 1593 to 1633, said, You have given me so much. Give me one more thing, a grateful heart. I mean, I know that was kind of long, but I liked it because, it, you know, it just talked about having, just being thankful, really. And like I said the other day, being thankful every day of the year, not just on Thanksgiving. And um, I think it's important for that. And I thought that was really very good. And I'm thankful for their ministry as well. So may the Lord bless you all and be with you until tomorrow. Everybody have a great and blessed Thanksgiving. Oh, no.